DevNet Zone at Cisco Live Europe. I'm here with a special guest, Stefan. Hey, my name is Stefan Eriksson. Uh, I'm a network consultant at Concia Sweden. Thank you for joining us. This isn't your first time at Cisco Live Europe or the DevNet Zone, is it? Uh, no, this is my fifth time in, uh, at Cisco Live. Uh, so, yeah, not my first time. Not your first time. What DevNet sessions have you t uh, looked at this year? Uh, mostly DNA Center, uh, API calls. Uh, that's what I've been working on uh, this past uh, couple of years. So. so tell me about how you're implementing this with customers, especially if you can give us some details. Yeah, sure. Uh, I've done uh, a SDA implementation uh, this, call, uh, this past year. Uh, so to ease the deployment, uh, we did uh, at least for a, a site type uh, for these small branches. We wanted them to deploy uh, pretty rapidly and easy. So we did a script uh, to well make everything happen in the DNA Center. Uh, so from a list of uh, site, we did deploy everything via script instead of them having to go into the GUI and uh, well click around uh, a lot and perhaps uh, uh, forget something and, and such. So yeah. So less probability of human error. Yeah, definitely. Now you said you were talking about the. You said you were really interested in the DevNet certifications. Which track do you think you'd be most interested in? Um. I'm not really sure. Uh, I have to think about that uh, a, a little, but uh, I will begin with the CCNA uh, DevNet at least, uh, and then go from there. And what about the other people in your team? Do you think they'll go for their DevNet certs? Yeah, definitely. Uh, we talk uh, talk about it a lot uh, this past month. Uh, so yeah, we'll definitely go for it. I don't know if you heard Susie Wee, but she announced that there's going to be a thing called the DevNet 500. The first 500 people to get their certs. Yeah, I heard it, and uh, well, I know, I'm not sure if uh, if it's fully booked already, but uh, I haven't booked my my test, but uh, I will definitely try for it. Yeah. You're very familiar with Cisco DNA Center. What um, would you recommend to people to go there and learn so that they can implement it with their customers too? Yeah, well, DNA Center can help the customer with a, a lot of different things. There are a lot of features in it, and I believe that's how we're going to manage our, our uh, enterprise networks in the future. So, uh, well, as I said, it's the future, and we, we all need to learn. Is there anything else you'd like to see in the DevNet zone? Uh, nothing that I can think of, uh, as of now at least. Uh, and um, is there anything else you'd like to share about the work that you've done with customers in automation and programmability? Yeah, for sure. I believe that uh, we started off uh, with the with the customer and the, the the DNA center scripting, and a little while into the project, we figured out that we needed to do some changes in the eyes as well. Uh, so it was since everything is uh, API nowadays, uh, it's very easy to go from DNA center scripting, doing API calls, to do the same uh, stuff in in eyes. So we did the, the script uh, to have uh, eyes uh, uh, doing changes as well. Yeah. That's great. Well, please come back to the DevNet Zone, and I hope that you and your team will uh, be among the DevNet 500. Will do, and thank you.